up it's Elon Extreme back at it with another video guys how you guys doing today today we're looking at the Black Bulls rap cipher by Rustage hosted by this man with daddy fat snaps none like Joshua Iron Mouse and more I have not heard of Iron Mouse that's a name that already pokes out to me and I don't know who this person is I, I'm glad to see another rapper on a cipher and I get to know more about this rapper and what he he or he or she can do now, I don't know what the, uh, what this entails. I know Black Clover itself is a really good anime. It's actually one of my favorite anime uh, of 2019. Not of all time, but it is a really good anime. I'd probably say it's in my top 10 or top 20 at the very least. And I think it's very cool that um, someone's making a cipher on the Black Bulls, which is I didn't think would happen for a little bit, but it seems like everyone's doing Black Bull raps at this point. It's everywhere, dude. But anyhow, guys, let's go check this out in three Two, one, let's check it out, boys. Black Bull's in the house for sure, boys. Let's go. Oh, Thai High Senpai's in here. Okay, his his girlfriend. Okay, okay. And I recognize most of these people. Okay. In like a media. Oh, bro, I'm looking media. I'm feeling the deep. All right. Seeping through my exterior. You're fearing the anti magic, anti coward, anti weak. And oh. giving up when I'm pushing my limits past the peak. Okay, let's talk about that. That's actually like sick. The way he did that. Like anti, he used anti three times, and look how he did it. Fear in the anti magic, anti magic, anti coward, anti weak. Like look at this. Coward, anti weak, anti giving up when I'm pushing my limits. Oh, that's so good. I'm hurting the mages like cattle. I'm tearing the pages a handful. I tackle, no binding my fear in no shackles. I king don't need no vassals, no castles like Hanover. All I need is passion when I battle with my black clover. Look, they see the. All right, all right, we're gonna go into his little uh, verse right there. I like the way he had a lot of double entendres in his bar. Uh, he doesn't usually do that. Depends on what he does. Um, from what I've seen him rapping, he likes to have a very interesting, intense flow, and then he nails it with the bars. He really hits hard with the bars. Sometimes uh, more than others, but I will say he does a pretty good job. I would say this is one of his better ones for sure in terms of like nailing the bars and having double meanings and stuff. I think that's really cool. I like the way that he stuck with that. I also like the way that he talked about you know him anti giving up, anti this because he has anti magic and he has the demon magic and the blood. Uh, demon magic uh from the you know black clover book so the only thing i'm gonna say is that he could have went a little bit more into asta but i think he got the general gist of it moved the flow a little bit more and had a little bit more physical emotion instead of going into the more intense stuff you know what i'm saying and that would make asta's character where he really not giving up he would really emphasize that so Let's go into uh, Schwabity's. Uh, he's doing Mr. Baseball Boy. I don't remember his name right now. It, it, names with me on uh, Black Clover are kind of weird for me. I, I'm, I'll try, but yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, let's go. The hair is on pepper because now we're in effect. In fact, that might just make the swing of flame and bad at your neck. Oh, yeah. The, check. the red around me gives such a lemon effect. I fight the fan of flame, the fan in the death. Yeah. All right. The flame is on. I come hitting like a truck. I feel the game is gone with the grand slam struck. I protect every bomb with the prison kill. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling dancing, dude. Alright, so basically to explain his stuff, it's not really that, like, complicated. Uh, I don't know if Schwabity has even watched Black Clover for the most part. It could be just the same case as he did in the last Cypher in the um, Espada rap where he kind of just came up with bars uh, that would relate to the physical appearance of the character and what he's shown to be, not really the deep parts. And I seem to, uh, I seem to see that right here. Uh, Schwabity did talk about, you know, his ba uh, burning baseball bat. I really like the beat and the rap flow he used because it kind of, like, reminded me of, like, going into sports, pepped up, having some fun so i like that a lot and i also like that he mentioned luck at the end there that was pretty good uh, pr not a pretty nice verse i think he i like that he went into more character than rustage on this so props to you schwabity i think you did a pretty good job representing him i wish that you went a little bit more deep into what he what he is you know more into him but i think you actually got a pretty good premise so that was pretty good continue uh with thai high senpai down to this a clear bottle a fierce model always looking through these bare goggles when i hear trouble my magic causes severe struggle yep this fear is awful but i'm older now no mere model Ooh. i'm trash when i'm crafting a weapon i'm grabbing the dead like the marionettes and rival the rest when they tingle with heads and i'm making a leave just snatch from head <laughs> i'm a treat no trick this isn't halloween i'm a wicked witch defying gravity damn all right that was really really good the really big line we gotta go back there because thigh high wow I don't know if Thai High wrote this herself because you could tell if Rustage 
writes her stuff. But like th this, this is good. So marionettes, like of course puppets. Um, I'm older, no mere muggle. That was like the biggest line I liked from this because you have mere muggle like Harry Potter. Uh, muggle is a human or a mortal or someone who is not magic based. So I like that that she uh, referenced Harry Potter for a witch like you know her. So I think that was really really good. Uh, is there anything I am missing here? I mean, other than, like, her talking about strings and being, like, a wicked witch, I think she really nailed it down. Um, the only thing is that, like, she's a nice person, so it's kind of like she didn't really say that. But other than that, I think that's, I think she got the witch part down, so that was good. There you go, we had to listen to that again. Yep. Whew. <laughs> Alright, real quick, he could use uh, freaking portals, that's literally his entire shtick, but we'll talk about that. But basically, he has the green dipped hair, I like that line, it was very comedic, I like that from Connor Quest. I think um, the flow kind of matched him a little bit, I mean, of course, this is Connor Quest's normal flow for the most part, uh, from what I've seen so far anyway, don't judge me based on that, but I will say it is very well done. I think he really did nail a bit of the things in there. I wish he really went into his backstory with him and his brother and everything. It's just a little bit, like, at least mentioned, like, one bar on it. I also wish he would have went a little bit more timid for it because, you know, he's a very timid guy. He's not a very outgoing guy. He likes to act like that, but that's not how he is. So, just letting you know, that's just my opinion on that. And if Connor Quest, if you end up seeing this, that's what I'm going to say to you, man. That's what I would say you improve on. Uh, and yeah, continue. Hello. By the way, I gotta say, he just said hello. He just said hello. The way he came in, we gotta rewind that. That's great. Look at hello? this. Hello. There you go. Ooh, it's high as fuck, dude. Let's go! Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That caught me totally off guard. I was like so into the beat, bopping my head, being like, hey, let's go, lightning boy, let's go, luck. And then it's like, ah, oh, shit. Shit, dude. Why, NLJ, dude? Oh, his poor past with his mother. Oh, I don't even want to go into that. Cause not, uh, guys who have not seen Black Clover, I really don't want to... I really, really, really don't want to spoil that for you. Oh, damn. Okay, Um, I will say a couple things that he did go fast as Lightning. Luck is a very sporadic character. He doesn't sit still, so I like NLJ. For his fast-paced rapping, it made sense because usually he can do, like, super fast, and it's kind of like, well, it doesn't really capture the character when he goes, like, stupid fast. I love the flow and r rap and pace. It just, for the characters, it doesn't really fit. And I think for this one, it did because, you know, him, Luck himself is a sporadic dude. He has a very, very tragic past uh, and he, you know, t he tries to fight the strongest opponent in almost to fill the void in his heart. Uh, and also because he likes to fight in general. He's kind of like a Goku kind of dude, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, I think that was really, really good. I think NLJ really captured the character. I think his flow matching up with the character did the best so far and he got the best pacing out of everyone so far, which is quite interesting. Um, and continue, this is Trivla Shara. Okay. Damn. No, not me, yo. All right, here's the thing real quick. Okay, I think this is really good because she captured that pretty well uh, going into her hidden personality like like she did with Top, where she was like, okay, being shy at first and then she got really like into her own as inside the series. She goes from, the, uh, you know, her family like depressing her and oppressing her until she now, at this point, she's confident she can do what she want to do and she fights for what she wants to protect now. Very similar to Asta because she gets the inspiration from there. I think Shara actually qu captured that pretty well. And very subtly, so people wouldn't get that. And, and she's saying, and I like the little line with the yonder right now. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That's good. All right, Shaudo, uh, my boy, the guy who just released his album. Let's go back and um, listen to the trap dude, Magic Man himself. 
and cannot remember his name. Excuse me. Yo. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, all right. That was really, really good. So he was talking about, um, I don't know what he said in Japanese. I really don't know. Nani, I, of course, I know, but I really don't know. I usually know how to pick up our bar bars, but it's another language. What am I supposed to do? The way he did this really quick is that he got his, like, main thing where he, like, he thinks that, like, people are not Magic Knights because his father and everything and his experience of being in the Magic Knights, he, in experiencing that, he thinks nobody really acts like a true Magic Knight in these days. So I like that last line really captured that. I like the way they said, forget manners, like, uh, forget mana, like, you have to be proper Magic Knights. Like, even Asta is showing you without mana, he could be a proper knight and really be uh, live up to the Clover Kingdom and prove to himself, what are you guys doing? That's like his whole philosophy. I will say, very, very nice. I think that was really well executed. Shout Do. Actually, one of my favorites because I love the way he does Japanese. I love the way he incorporates that. So cool. And I'm very proud that you can actually uh, understand some uh, episodes now in Japanese. I think that's awesome. Continue. Magic nice. You about to attack funny and say that. I'll twist your magic so that we can fight back. All right. I don't need confidence when I am stacked. Yes, I am shy. I'm not a guy. A practical black bull and I can save lives. Yep. I like to say I don't like to hide, but what truly matters is what's hidden inside. The story of Cinderella has nothing on me. I was a okay. family mad at me for magic. That's true. I'll fight for this magic. Wow, oh my god, okay, maybe I might have to take back my words there. I think Hala CG got the freaking, like, emotion to character there. That's crazy. Okay, so she would turn into this. Um, I would never have suspected. This is like, usually you could predict something in a show. I did not expect that. I did not expect this to become a girl. I did not expect that to turn into one. I didn't think that was even a possibility. I think, uh, I mean, I just, it just never crossed my mind. Oh so yeah, like I transform and the reason why I keep myself hidden and shy is because of the past experience with my family not letting me be unique, right? And to be myself, right? I think she did that very, very well and captured that very, very well. Very nice. And her flow and her like shyness, you can kind of feel that too, which is awesome in itself, by the way. So I think that's really, really cool. I think that was very well executed. Very good job, Hala CG. Let's get into the next one. Okay. Oh my god! Yo, wait a minute! This man did not just do that. Hold on, I did not expect that. Because Game Boy Jones, alright? I love the way he takes realistic concepts and, in, like, real life and takes them and puts them in rap. I love the way he does that. But the one thing I did not, like, uh, recently he's been getting more into character. I really, really like that. Because, like, he, he's got, like, that nice blend. And he that little line there where he whispers, like, listen to that. Like, if, wait till you see my book, it's full of recipe. Like, it's because he's so silent, right? He doesn't want to keep to himself. He thinks everyone is his friend because he's lonely to himself. And he's trying to prove that, right? And also, I like the way that, like, he, the whisper, like, just creeps me the hell out. Because this guy in the beginning used to creep me out. As more of the series goes on, he gets a lot better. So I love the way that he did that. I think Game Boy Jones executed him pretty damn well, man. Like, that... That was good in the beginning. I'm like, all right, it's the you know, you know, it's Game Boy, you know, Game Boy Jones does a great job, but like, there's no way he's gonna pull this character. It's kind of you know interesting, and he does it very nice. Let's continue. Let's listen to the rest of his verse. Ramsey, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Dude, I'm in disbelief. Iron Mouse, that's the first time I've ever heard you in my life. And I gotta tell you real quick, that was the hypest shit I've ever heard because you got perfectly into character. I 
love that, dude. I, I can't even contain my inci excitement. I really cannot, because that was just so perfect. If I, I've never even heard Charmy's English voice, and I gotta tell you, that is probably exactly what I would have imagined. Very goddamn nice. Oh, I mean, like the sheep's clothing, wool and sheep's clothing, that was a very good bar. But the real thing that got me there was her getting into character and her. I love the way you go from the normal Charmy who just likes to eat and chillax and be like that. And then get into the more serious side for a second and then end it off with the like funny, playful one. Like she's at the end of her transformation. I love that. Keep, keep it up. I gotta check out more of you, Iron Mouse. Very nice. Let's go check out Sack Boche. I already heard a little tidbit. This is really good. Continue. Long road, but we'll keep trekking through it all. I promise on my life that I'll be there for you, though, if you call. Keep okay. Safe in any way, even with backs upon the wall. I got this mirror magic, bringing fear and havoc till they fall. It's all right. You unfair. They all freeze when you stare. Don't care for me. It's for Maria. I tend to believe when I care. And oh. now when see reflections, it will not be me that they fear. So please tell me when you're in need, I swear you'll see I'll be there. That was good too. I think that was really, really well done. The biggest thing for me there was that Zach Boche, like I said, likes to can get the introverted characters very, very well, as I've explained this before. And I will say that he is an introverted character and he cares for his sister very much though and he tries to keep everybody out and as he continues he gets out over that a little bit over time will help the black bulls even though he didn't care about them in the first place in the way that he should have shown it so i think zach boshe got that pretty damn well i mean he gets a lot of these characters down very well i actually expected him to do this man right here but i like that he did that very well let's see grayson i've seen this guy on twitter and i have not heard anything from him though so let's see what he's got for the boy. Don't know that I'm here, but I've been around. The odds spot to lose this round. I bring the house down. Okay. With the bulls and asses, my project out. Check how I make my house do a ground pound. pound. Don't play me close. I'll check in mana. You better dip. Turn my crib into a ship and pull up quick. Fall All right. The kingdom, I swear to God that I'll never quit. Like my illness, my skill is forever sick. God damn. Grayson, you did pretty good. Uh, the only thing I will say, though, bro, honestly, in my honestly, uh, it's one of the weakest like things here I, I mean like in terms of like character because like you you wrap the bars fit it was really really good I'm, I'm not gonna lie I mean he said he turned his crib into a house though the whole black bolt base you know he can ground pound I mean that's literally the entire base fighting um you know he's saying that, like he, you've never been there like you never knew I was there but I was there you know that really got him there the best line I can think of there was him saying that it was sick so I think that was pretty good all right let's continue into Chi Chi Let's go with the crow girl. Ooh, damn. Okay. All right, real quick before we get again to Daddy Fast App's ridiculousness with this man. My boy Yami, I gotta say real quick about her, Chi Chi. Yo, Chi Chi did the Raven Girl, who was also the apprentice of or taken in by the uh, the previous wi uh, Wizard King, the first Wizard King. I love the way that this was done. I liked her vocals were so insane. Like you, did you listen to that? Like, like I gotta listen to that like part right there again. Like listen to this. Like, listen to this. Like, dude, like, that's so good. Like, you can't tell me it's not good. Her vocals are just insane. I like that. One of the best lines for me was literally the bird's eye, uh, bird's eye view. Like, like the like to get to see something from the bird's eye view because she was watching Asta as a crow or a whatever you want to call her at this point. I think she was a crow. And, um, you know, I think that's really, really cool. I think that her vocals were, like, the best part for me. And I know that, like, it's not really getting into character, but I really liked it. Like, I really did like that. That was really good. Really surprised me there. Very good job, Chi Chi. Let's get into the boy. Daddy Fat Snaps with the freaking Yami, which his Yami rap is coming soon. Let's go. Get the horns, hold on, let me light a cigarette. Woohoo! You cowards only pop the lid, disrespect. I'm a step ahead, so if you disregard my intellect, there won't be a dimension my katana cannot intercept. Woohoo! Hard to turn your life against you, that's an inner threat. And okay. And then check your wife, don't need to have your dinner prep. Pass those limits, look at clap, no finish. We the best black bulls, no cap, you can get it. Damn, all right. Last thoughts on Yami right there real quick. I'm going to talk about is that Yami, yeah, he smokes a cigarette. Uh, you don't want to underestimate him and his intelligence because he thinks of solutions for his problems very, like, 
often, man. I love the line where he gets really intense, where he gets the part when he gets the dimensional slash. I love that so freaking much. If he did this well in the end of this cipher, I cannot even wait to see his full rap on this. This is crazy, dude. I love this cipher. I don't know what it is, man. This is one of my favorites. I don't know why I like this more than the anime cipher. I really feel bad. I really do. Because the anime cipher was something I was super hyped about. And this was just... Mwah. I'm not saying the anime cipher was bad at all. I think th I just think this was just better executed, right? Like everyone got their parts good, like you know, like uh, very very well done. So I think this was really, man, dude. Like more people got their characters down than most other ciphers. This might be a top five cipher for me for this year, dude. Please go check out all the artists in the link description below. Um, I, I will have the original video and the YouTube channel uh, of Rustage in the link description below. Don't worry, guys. I got you as of always. And um, letting you guys know that I am going to be having a tier list out either by tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'll let you know when that's going on. It's a Naruto tier list, so go check that out. Anyhow, guys, if you guys liked the reaction, please give me a like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate that, guys, and ring that notification bell. If you guys don't want to, that's up to you. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, I, I would love to see you guys there, but it's up to you, man. Anyhow, guys, have a great day. Stay safe out there. Have a stream day, guys, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.